Hi, this is Becky Lindbergh, and I'm one of the sports dietitians here at Virginia Tech, and this is your sports nutrition tip of the week. So today we're going to talk about how to cut a watermelon. Um, watermelon is a great fruit to have on hand at home. Um, it's great summer fruit to have. It's very hydrating, and it's usually cheaper to buy watermelon whole than it is to buy it pre-cut up. So we're going to talk about nice skills of how to cut a watermelon. So first, to start off with, you're going to want a very sharp knife. A sharp knife actually cuts the fruit um, cleaner, and a dull knife is more likely to um, slip. So your first um, cut with a watermelon is to first look at it, and you want to find the two ends. And then what, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the first end right off. And that's just um, trash. No one's going to want to eat that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And now you have got the watermelon, a nice sturdy base to cut from, okay? So again, we want to make sure that in the kitchen when you're using sharp knives, you have some food safety as well. So what we're going to do now is, obviously this is the nice flesh of the watermelon and we don't want the rind. So what we'll do now is we're going to shave off the rind. So you just want to take your knife, nice firm grip, and go right across the side of it. Kind of like, almost like if you're going to peel an egg. Um, so again, we'll go on this side. And this does take a lot of practice. No one's um, going to do it perfectly the first time, but uh, it's a lot easier and a lot cheaper than buying it pre-cut at the store. So we'll keep going around here. So now we've got a nice, delicious, semi-circle watermelon. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to try to cut this into bite-sized pieces. So you can have them at any time um, throughout the day or throughout the week. So we'll cut it right in half. And we'll just kind of set one side off right now. So you can see, look how beautiful this watermelon flesh is. That's, this is called the, um, the center, the heart of the watermelon. That's usually the juiciest and the sweetest. I'm just going to quick just trim this off. Okay, so now we have this delicious. So I always cut it in quarters. It makes it a little bit easier to work with. So we'll start here. And what you want to do is, depending on how big a piece you want, about an inch or so. And we go right across here. And we just flip it up and go right down here. And then we turn it sideways like so. So now you've got all these little um, logs, basically, these slabs of watermelon. So what we can do is just go right, nice and easy, down. And look at these beautiful watermelon cubes we have now. So what you can do is just store these in an airtight container um, for about five to seven days. After that, you might notice a little bit of the flavor um, leave the watermelon. But anyways, this is a great snack to have. And uh, it's delicious. I'm Becky Lindbergh, and that was your nutrition tip of the week. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Hokey Fuel.